this spectacular jump, Villela makes two turns in the air and lands turning a corner. Uh, you, you get this feeling of exhilaration. Villela, like every ballet dancer, must take class every working day of his life, some 90 minutes of exercises, beginning slowly at the bar and progressing to the most strenuous leaping exercises. At the bar, the dancer constantly strives for perfection of form in every movement, his feet always held in the rigid discipline of five classical positions, while he maintains comparable arm positions throughout every exercise, and even as he stretches to loosen the muscles of his torso. In class, the dancer repeats every detail of his basic technique and stretches and tones his muscles to support the strains of dancing. After he has completed his basic exercises holding onto the bar, the dancer goes through them again, unsupported, adding the whirling movements of a pirouette. Edward Villela missed four years of classes and ballet training when he stopped dancing at 16 to go to college, a grave loss at a crucial time for a dancer, and one whose effects proved nearly disastrous when he returned to dancing at age 20. I had interrupted my, my training by four years. My, my father was not happy that his son was wearing tights. <laughs> so when my sister quit dancing, he said, okay, that's it, enough of this stuff you're going to college. So I was sent to a military college. I have a Bachelor of Science degree in Marine Transportation. I'm a graduate at the New York State Maritime College where I won my letters in baseball and was welterweight boxing champion. After four years of not dancing, I had, I had to go back. I, I did go back. I gave my degree to my dad and I said, that's for you. Now I'm going to be a ballet dancer. <laughs> the worst part of all of that was, in getting back, I was so anxious and so frantic to get back and make up for lost time that I worked harder, faster, more. I took two, three classes a day, worked like a demon. If I had terrible aches and pains, I'd work right through them. If I had tight muscles, I'd continue to work, and it only made the muscles tighter. The flexibility, I, I didn't have flexibility. It was cramped and there were, it was always tough to move and I always had to force. But I could feel that it was almost like a disease in my muscles and my legs. I was almost desperate about it. And really what I had to do was to just stop and start all over again, slowly, quiet, and only work on certain things until that part of my body gave in, which would then allow me to work on other things. At 21, even as he danced major roles on stage, Villela began a drastic remaking of his technique and muscle tone, which took years to accomplish and continues to this day, with complications added by a back injury that sometimes causes him cramps and muscle spasms. You will see into the world of Edward Villela through the events of a special day in his life when he is challenged by a crisis that is feared by every dancer. Every ballet requires tremendous physical strength from a dancer. And this one, Tarantella, which Villela is dancing with Patricia McBride, is particularly demanding. Villela is able to make the quick steps and flying leaps look like easy fun. But beneath his professional ease, he is finding them even more difficult than usual. For some time, he has been overworking. Four other male dancers are out with injury and illness, and he has been dancing their roles as well as his own. Villela himself is rarely out of action, and his strength seems inexhaustible. But this is an extraordinary day in his life. November 19, 1967, when he's scheduled to dance an exhausting succession of three major roles. And even now, as he dances the first, he is feeling the physical strain of recent months. Edward Villala, 
cannot be sure how long he can maintain his power and control. This is just the beginning of a long day for Valella, the first of two performances on the same matinee. Ordinarily, he would not try to dance three bravura roles in one day, but circumstances demand that this evening he also dance his most punishing role, the Ruby's part of Jules. When Edward Valella returned for his next matinee performance, the audience of nearly 3,000 saw him collapse on stage. All the fatigue sat in my muscles you now from all the overwork. And uh, I got muscle spasms in both sides. And they, you know, you straighten your leg like this and it catches. And then you land and you land on a straight leg. The muscles just lock. Thanks. Speak to me. After the shock of the only collapse he has ever suffered on stage, Valella is trying to decide whether or not to risk an attempt to dance his big role in rubies this evening. A bad landing on an inflexible leg could cause another collapse or tear muscle and ligament to permanently impair his dancing career. The New York State Theater has been sold out in advance for every performance of the Jewels, the most spectacularly successful ballet in years. The centerpiece of Jules is its sensational rubies section, and the male star of rubies is Edward Vallella. How's it feel? On stage, please. On stage for rubies. Musicians in the pit, please. Musicians in the pit, please. All right, so I'm going to get down here and bounce around. All right. Thank you, Doctor. Jumps. Oh, really? 